Hey y'all. So we're sitting here at our club meet. Hi Bren. Hi Landry. Um, for last week's vlog, uh, I do want to apologize for the drama. Granted, some of you kind of liked it because it got a lot of fucking views. <laughs> We've noticed. We saw. We saw. We saw. And I also saw the thumbs down. So I get it. I understand. Either you were mad because somebody did that to us or because you didn't exactly like that bit of the vlog. Um, I'm going to let everybody know now. We're not going to hide our feelings and who we are. This is a vlog of my life. Um, yeah. What we go through. And so, for th for that friend, he apologized, and I want to say thank you, that takes a lot of balls, and it's hard to swallow your pride and apologize for something as big as that. I want to let you know now, um, if you're watching this, we'll work through it. We're, we're a long-term friendship, and we stick through shit when we really shouldn't, but... We, we have I know we'll have further ups and downs down oh, yeah. the road, and it's it's just a part of life. We've had issues with this friend before in the past, and we've worked through it. And it, it gets better and better as the years have gone by. We were really upset with that friend, and I know you're watching. And I hope you're watching. We'll work through it. Don't worry. Don't stress about it. We'll be okay. Just give us a, l a couple of days at least to figure some things out, and we'll probably talk this weekend. I, I'm trying my hardest not to vlog while the car is moving on the road because a lot of you guys don't like that. I'm sorry. I'm trying to be as loud as possible. And that one talks quiet. Love I can you too. barely hear you when you were talking. I do have a habit when I get frustrated, I start to get quieter. So. My apologies for those of you that couldn't hear what I said. You know. And I'm, I'm not good at subtitles it. yet, so I'm sorry. I should have um, automatic subtitles for those. You just click down below and click the subtitles. Or up here. It's a nice sunny day. We're not going to stress about last week. Last week is done and over with. It's it's gone. And now it's a, it's a warm day. The sun is out. And... I hope to have some fun because I see a few Subarus here and let's uh, let's enjoy and have some fun. You want to say anything, babe? No, I think at least right now most everything's been said, so I'm going to get out of the car and go enjoy the sun. Oh, Dutch Bros, man. Dutch Bros. Not only do we have two drinks, we have a third drink. <laughs> It's my cocoa for later. So, enjoy, and uh, you'll get to see this one's ugly face the entire time. You guys are stuck with me. He's better at the f cinematography than I am when it comes to this area. Hopefully, um, James has got to do some, some video stuff on Friday when he has the day off, because I really want to get out this James's Corner. It'll probably come out on Monday because it'll take me a bit to vlog and we've got to figure out what to do. Comment down below what you would want to know about cars. Do you want basic maintenance? Do you want... Uh, Everything helping? from, you know, how to take some things apart. Um, take apart your dash, take apart your How to change cluster. things, something simple as like some people that do LED headlight upgrades. You know, things like that. Whatever it is, or if you just have a question about, you know, something well, why does a car do this? Yeah. Write it down below in the comments. Oh, and here pretty soon we've got to change our spark plugs, so we'll do a video on that. Yes. And that's only going to be one of the many of one of our cars getting worked on. Yeah. Um, we have a Mazda, a 92 Mazda MX-3. She's our baby. We call her Bullet. She's She's been down for three years now? Almost. Um, I can go into detail on my corner, but... I'll probably give you a issue. car history in the first video or something. Um, and then we also have an old Jeep, an 86 Grand Wagoneer. But if you see photos of it, or if we end up getting video of it at any point, you'll notice if anybody of you who's a Jeep fanatic, yes, it looks like a 70s era. Most of everything was swapped over from a 70s before we got it. Yeah. It, it was for the better, though. 
Yeah. I, I like it the way it is. Right now, she's sitting dirty and underneath a tree. We're gonna be getting her out, cleaning her up. So you'll probably see videos of us cleaning everything. Uh, we also gotta clean up our trailer. The outside looks like crap. Yeah. Yeah, there's gonna be some videos of yard work and stuff. So I'm, I'm sorry if you're not a fan of it. We're still gonna do it. Why? Because I want to. Sorry. All right, so I'm gonna go hang out with some friends and here when more cars pull in, James will get on the camera and show you around. Until then, see you guys then. See you in the next clip. All right, everybody, so we're back. Um, starting to get a little sun setting in the background, looking nice and pretty. But we actually have quite a few people show up tonight. Decent little turnout. Um, so I'll go ahead and walk you through. So, we got a nice little Fozzie. A newer Outback, of course. Oh, got a car coming. All the fun of a busy night over here. So, of course, for those, those of you who don't know, it's over at Sonic in Kaiser, which is in Salem. So, now that the cars are by, we'll get back to it. So, Damn it. Of course, there's Frankenstein. He's a little dirty. We've even got a few people. They normally drive their Subaru, but with the nicer weather, they felt like riding. Can't really blame them for that. I got rivet to get the Subaru. Say hi, guys. What's up, sexy? You want to say hi? Hi. So. Like, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm making I my rounds. Oh. And Dean, with his legacy, came out tonight. And if you guys remember a couple weeks back, I was talking about the vents he made for his rear. He put those in with the nicer weather today. And, oh, I didn't mention, but these are actually a sequential turn slash daytime running light. <sighs> Another guy in our club, there's nothing original or stock about his Fozzy. But this is kind of one of the scoops I want to go for. More of a, uh, I believe 04 had the tall one. So I can't remember if this is 04 or 05. Then of course we get to another this is fourth gen. So, and yes, we have a Nissan hanging out in the mix. That is actually Jaime's. He is a Subaru tech that has his own shop over in, I don't remember if he moved it to Silverton or, or if it's still in Silverton or if he moved it to Salem finally. And then we've got Sylvia here. She's got some of her decal overlays on finally, and they were having trouble last week with the kanji. Some of it didn't want to stick too well, but most of it's on there now. So, of course, you remember John and that little red fozzy. So what you guys got going on over here? We just realized this motor's from California. It's got <laughs> California emissions on it. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and it it definitely could... You're missing kind of some pieces here. Nope, I pulled those out. <laughs> and his lift. That's one of the local companies that does them. So, you guys want to say hi? Hey, what's up? Daddy. What's up? I like it. Do you want to see my new tongue, Daddy? Yes, I do. Yes, sir. Oh. Then we've got 
nice, nice cross track with, ooh, I missed that. One of the beautiful decal overlays. Eventually I will have tires maybe similar to that. Had to watch out for a new one. Got another roof tent, which I'm still not too sure about myself. Then we've got Bren. Still, it just trips me out with the bright orange on charcoal, dark charcoal, or whatever color they want to phrase that as. I don't know why, but just kind of a throwback to the 80s, and it's like a safety orange, so it, it kind of has its deal, and eh. Eh. squeeze through here. So, we'll get back to it. Here is a thing of beauty. Kind of a different license plate man I just noticed. <laughs> Little Sasquatch hiding in there. Nice shiny gold brim belts. Kind of stands out against it. And it is very subtle, but the flat black kanji looks pretty good. Maybe if you're lucky, when he leaves, we'll be able to get a video of it, complete with a rear diffuser. There's Steve in his old first gen. Yeah, I know I'm not really very talkative tonight, guys. Sorry, just kind of been busy yakking. And for those of you who don't know this emblem, that is for Dirtfish. Different placement for the kanjis. Counter spotted. What's up, Ben? Howdy, howdy. There's Steve over there in the uh, park style. Oh. Sign. <laughs> Definitely stands out. So the Instagram for this one is, I think that's Instagram. <laughs> Orsini Vinyls and Design. She does a lot of our custom vinyls for the club. Um, she does a lot of good work. She can also do other custom vinyls. And then we have a beautiful Baja turbo. Kind of an oddball. Not common. So, that's pretty much everybody here tonight, at least for now. And somebody wants to say hi. Do you guys want to be on camera? I don't care. Hello. So, a couple other members showed up. Got a new member here. Yes. She has the Baja turbo. Yes. 2006, last model year. Make you cry. I can't believe they only did it for four years. Like, what were they thinking? At least it's done better than the Tribeca ever did. Well, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> but that's kind of one of those we don't really talk much about yeah. now. Oh, yeah. yeah. I had forgotten about that. That's right. There was such I, I only remember it because driving home from work uh, on Front Street, we passed one, and it was just like, oh. I cringed because it was just horrendous looking on the front end. Oh. They just, the design wasn't there. Yeah. 
Yeah, not your natural classic Subi. No. Yeah. But hey, at least it's still around and it's still a yeah. Subi, so. It's and it's, yeah. it's got a nice, nice owner that takes good care of it. Yes. So. This is my baby. Yeah, I know. We've been taking really good care of it. And it's just, just turned over. It's 101,000. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, right now. So. Wow. She's yeah. still so young. Um, yeah. Well, you know, they say it's boxers. Although with the turbo, I don't know. But it's, you know, the expectation should be 200,000. It, even with the turbos from just about any any car, regardless, I've found, I, yes, we know some are more prone to problems. Right, well, there was the head gasket thing. Yeah, stuff. yeah, that they had with those, but right. as long as the maintenance is kept up on most of them, I've seen go, like, uh, Steve's first gen there, the, uh -huh. that one, he yeah. rolled over 300,000. Really? Just now, yeah, just a couple weeks ago. Oh my yeah. gosh, and wow. He does have to do, I think it's a head gasket he's got to do because he's burning oil. Oh yeah, well I can see that. But I mean, 300,000 miles, yeah. Wow. I have 176 on my 05. Wow. I've got 246, 47 on my 96. And no head gaskets needed to be done. Really? All right guys, we'll check back in a little bit. Have fun. We're going to be talking with Mike here. He's got the lovely STI. You were just looking at the motor. All right. So why don't you go ahead and tell us a little bit about it? Well, this is my 07 STI. I, uh, I've had it about two or three years now. Uh, bought it. Uh, it was pretty much bone stock when I got it. It was lowered, but that was it, you know. And uh, since I've got it, you know, I don't have any. Uh, Upgraded turbo or injectors or anything, it's still stock everything, but I did uh, put an open downpipe and open exhaust, you know, so it's got a stage two and top access port. Nice. Um, I believe it's making 289 to the wheels. It's a heck of a lot better than I'm making, <laughs> guarantee that. And I just, uh, I definitely like the look, so I, I put a lot of time into, you know, getting it uh, lower than it was when I got it and uh, finding the right wheels. So I did the wheels, uh, lips, you know, and in the back I built a custom diffuser. I also uh, uh, put BMW canards, you know, I found these random BMW canards in the back, so the back's all custom. Uh, just a lot of time and effort getting it to look okay. Uh, it does have a Sieben uh, carbon fiber trunk. I had that sprayed to match the car and then put a, a STI wing on the back because nice. it was wingless when I bought it. You got, if it's an STI, you gotta have the wing. I mean, it just doesn't yeah. look right to me. Yeah, I definitely wanted to have that wing. You know, I couldn't have the STI and not have that wing at least once. Um. So I noticed, avoiding the plate here, but uh, your mount. Where'd you end up picking that up at, or did you make that? Either Amazon or eBay. I, I haven't been able to find it again because a lot of people ask about that. Um, it's just a uh, adjustable. Uh, bracket which is pretty cool I'm always on the hunt for cool little unique pieces yeah. I uh, stumbled across that it was either eBay or Amazon uh, I really like it tucks the plate underneath there but I'm gonna go front mount here pretty soon so I'll probably it's adjustable I'll probably have the plate it flipped up the other way okay you know, I might run I might want to go for no plate uh, but I don't want to get any tickets <laughs> yeah I've heard the mixed reviews about some people getting them for having them on the dash etc etc yeah, so. It's kind of one of those gray areas, if you ask me. It is my garage car. I, I bought this car saying if I buy an STI, I'm not going to put it in the garage. I'm going to drive it. But it has really low miles still. It's got, I think, 87,000 miles. Damn. Uh, and so as soon as I got it, they started going up really quickly. <laughs> it had like 63,000 when I got it. Wow. So they started climbing quickly. So I was like, man, uh, we paid a lot for this. So put it in the garage, and now I drive a Forester's the daily. Okay. Yep. I still, I keep telling the wife one of these days I will get my 05 I want. Yeah, this this is my dream. I uh, I had to work hard. I I went to school for a lot of years and uh, this didn't come easy for me. I know a lot of people might be able to afford a car like this, you know, a lot, a lot easier, but uh, I had to work hard for a long time. Just means you appreciate it more. Yeah. I used to mow lawns for a living and I'd see these cars in people's driveways, you know, and I was like, one day I'm going to give me one and I went to college and and this is my dream. I made it come true. The ultimate dream for me would be, besides getting my 05, would be a 22B. But yeah, good luck on that. 
So I do have some plans. You know, I do want to do a bigger turbo, injectors. I really, really want uh, an external wastegate, you know, uh, more just because I, I love how they sound. Yeah. Plus, they, it's going to run better. Uh, and just a bigger fuel pump. So that's the goals for this summer is, uh, is I want to do a Blausch Dominator, injectors, and a new tune. And I'll probably do, I don't know if I'll do another, do, use my Cobb. Got the truck got, coming through. When I kind of have access, I play with those things too much. So I might <laughs> do an, an open source tune. I like those because then I, I, I can't play with them. You know, a little safer for the car. But super clean interiors, uh, perfect. Nice perfect interior. Uh, so Mind if I show that? everybody? What's up? Mind if I show the interior? Yeah, you go right ahead. Oh, I like the high shifter. Yeah, I, I bet that gets that. tricky with the reverse though. Yeah, I'm used to it. I just put my hand down there and pull it up. That's natural for me now. I've had that same setup on all my Subarus. Nice. And of course, another Sasquatch. Can't forget that. Yep, I got my little bits and bobs on there. Got a Stormtrooper hanging right there. I don't know if you can see it through the glass. Yep, right there. Yep, nice. Crazy cat. I got the Darth Vader hanging from the keychain there. Nice. I mean, she is beautiful. I'm hoping uh, when you go to head out, if I can, I'm going to try to catch some audio of it. Yeah. Because it's, it's healthy. Yeah. And I really do like how you did the matte black kanji on the back. Yeah, I really like the dark. I like black wheels. I like all darked out. You know, uh, I usually I try to do uh, shinier wheels, and I just love black wheels. So They're just on, so classy. I put on, I put black wheels on everything I own. I just I try to say, hey, this time I'm gonna try something different, add a little color or polished wheels, and I like it for a little bit, and I go back to black. I got black steelies, and our Mazda has black five spoke 17s. It literally. The only part that's not black is the lip of the rim. So it breaks up the outline a little bit. Yeah, I put the wing on myself. I drilled holes in my $1,000 Seaman carbon fiber trunk. <laughs> uh, went for it, turned out perfect. I really like the wing. Honestly, I would not have known that that was a Seaman carbon fiber. Yeah, if you, it's hard in this light, and probably the camera definitely won't pick it up, but if you look, you can actually see the the weave as I almost fall over. I like it, it's cheap. Since it's a carbon fiber, there's no uh, tongue clatch oh. or uh, emblems or anything, so I really like that about it. I can catch a little bit of the pattern of the weave right there and actually see it on the, yeah. on the crappy screen on the back. Well, hope you guys like it and let me get this flipped around yeah, here. Those are uh, 05 uh, STI tail lights, and they're uh, a below mileage uh, Canadian STI. So I got those out of Canada. I really like those better than the 06, 07 uh, STI tail lights. I, I'm looking at doing some uh, JDM bits on ours in a little while if price is right and things work out. Well, guys, so this is Mike and his lovely STI and I'll show you on the pan back across the front window says it all and his windshield says it all labor of love all right guys, so that's it for that one. We'll catch you in a little bit. All right, everybody. So we have one of our friends who also works on different cars at his own shop. This is Jaime. His a shop, it's appointment only. It's not just a, hey, cruise up, stop in, say hey. But he's gonna tell you more about it. He's the one that, yes, it's club meet, but he's in the Nissan. <laughs> Couldn't bring a Subaru or even the truck with the pooch. I can't afford it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so a little bit about your shop, Jaime. Uh, it's a little more like a Subaru shop, uh, basically. I specialize in Subarus like most people know. 
Uh, I'm trying to do a little bit more than Subarus now, but uh, that's coming down the road. Uh, for now, we'll stay with Subaru. Uh, yeah, you guys have to come check it out. Uh, there's gonna be an open house pretty soon, so yeah, stay tuned. Now, where would they go to find info about getting a hold of you for your shop? Uh, you can go and find that out on uh, Facebook page, JR's Garage. Uh, or basically it's Instagram as well. Or oh, just find me and I can give you a full in on the info when I can. Hold on. <laughs> Alright, and we will be putting his Instagram up out here for you guys to kind of follow, see some of the different builds. I've looked at a lot of the photos. I haven't even been to the shop yet. Check it out. But some of the work he does, stellar. This guy knows his Thank shit when it comes to Subaru. He's the man to talk to, he's the man to go to in our area if you ever have any questions. And if, I, and if sure. I don't know it, I go talk to him. We'll find the answer for you guys. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna call it a night and finish hanging out since it is getting darker Dark. and, as Rainy. you can tell, a little colder. Yeah. Don't ask me how he's staying warm. <laughs> me, I'm starting to turn to a popsicle. I am, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, have a great one tonight. Stay we'll see you guys next time.